It's a very good question and the discussion today has uh, really been very, very rich uh, on that very subject. Um, the, I think as a result of the discussion today, I've come away with a feeling that the differences may be even a little bit greater uh, than I thought uh, coming here. Uh, I find that unfortunate because, uh, as I said this morning, um, we're faced with so many important issues, threats to peace, threats to security, uh, that we really need to have our best minds working together uh, to put back a, a security structure for Europe, uh, to deal with rising powers like uh, China, uh, to deal with Iran, uh, and then to deal with the continuing, you know, terrible tragedy in Syria. And I, I, I don't like to see a lot of uh, squabbling and, and disagreements uh, between people uh, over minor issues. I would like to see uh, the disciplines uh, cooperate more. And um, some of the ideas that I've articulated, which not everyone seems to agree with, but I still think are very, very useful, I would like to see uh, more academics, uh, you know, having uh, positions in government even for one year. As I understand it, this is more common uh, in the United States than Europe. But I think that is a very, very effective way of breaking down uh, some of the barriers. Um, I, I would like to see at the university level, because I think we're really talking about training the next generation of people who can begin to really deal uh, with some of these differences. But I would like to see um, more courses, university level courses, that are taught between practitioners and regular academics. Um, I think bringing both perspectives into the classroom uh, is a very, very helpful uh, approach. I would also like to see um, more classes in which uh, security studies students and conflict resolution stu students are brought together in the same class. I think it's very helpful for them to dialogue with each other uh, and to get a better sense of, you know, sort of what their respective approaches are so that instead of looking at each other as competitors and somewhat inferior, uh, they'll have a better sense of how they might actually uh, work uh, together. Um, I also think that uh, uh, as university professors, uh, it's very important to uh, help students understand how you write not only in the academic world, uh, but also in the policy world. And by that I mean papers that are shorter, not necessarily with footnotes, um, and not necessarily with a bibliography, uh, but that have a, a summary at the beginning, uh, a discussion of the main points, policy recommendation at the end and then why they chose that. That, you know, is obviously not the typical type of academic writing, but that's the kind of writing that is valued in the government. And I think that that kind of writing, if students could learn how to do that, uh, it might make them, effective, them more effective later on if they go into the academic world. How do you write for a policy maker? So I think that uh, that would be very, very useful. And the final thing uh, is I think this conference has been very, very helpful. Uh, I would like to see many more uh, such conferences. Uh, if nothing else, having people from uh, different disciplines and different professional backgrounds uh, to discuss and air issues like this uh, is very, very, very useful. Uh, so we have not only the gulf between you know, research and uh, the practitioner, but we have different you know, ways of doing it on both sides of the Atlantic. Uh, we have a number of gulfs you know, that we have to, uh, to deal with. But my main point is that given the terribly serious international issues that we're facing now, uh, we need to bring all disciplines and everyone working together.